Hi, Vijay Mistre here, CEO and founder of Rent and Director, author of seven world class corporate training programs which have a green light status award from the UK Trade and Investment. And our purpose is to see directors, executives, leaders, entrepreneurs, uh, managers, professionals, and partners achieve standards of excellence in everything they do as well as scale up their businesses with ease. Now, Thank you very much for joining this particular webinar altogether. This is going to be a game changer, I believe, because this is about the seven steps of how you can become a world-class entrepreneur, leader, director, executive, and manager. So let's deep dive straight into this particular training. Now, before we go into this particular training, I just want to share with you that this is for family businesses, private companies, entrepreneurs, partnerships in all sectors. It doesn't matter which sector you are in, but this is going to be very relevant to you. And this is completely a game changer, as I would say. So we are going to spend about 30, 40 minutes together, but I believe it's going to be the best uh, investment of your time uh, because I'm going to share some insights which are going to be completely uh, cutting edge altogether. So first and foremost, biggest challenges over the past three or four uh, months uh, my business partner and i we have coached consulted mentored advised uh, conducted business health checks and you know we are on this retainer service to help businesses to grow for over a hundred businesses so we have picked up a common pattern of challenge which we would like to share with you because there may be some reflection from these particular challenges for your particular business so the first and foremost which we have noticed is lack of focus point what do i really mean by lack of focus point so there was this one particular manufacturing organization and the ceo who was one of the owners of this business it was a family business uh, family run business and the uh, ceo he was basically working on micromanaging and firefighting not really looking into the core focus points which he was supposed to be looking into so basically his energy his time his attention was being diverted to issues which were all about firefighting and micromanaging which led him to you know be overwhelmed because he had a lot of these time constraints every now and again so this was one key challenge this one particular company had now the second one is holding on so again, there was another uh, business and the business owner comes up to us and we are coaching this particular business. And he says that I've got executives who are not performing to the level I want them to perform. So here's the thing. Why are you still holding on? What are the action drivers? What are you really doing? Have you confronted reality? What is that brutal truth? This is the key problem. They keep on holding draggers in their organization. And this is detrimental to the growth of the organization. In another company, again, another example as far as holding uh, on is concerned, there was this other company, it was a retail company, and they had stocks, dead stocks, stocks which were not sold for three, four years. Instead of getting rid of them, they were just holding on to that particular, uh, you know, stock. And in another company, there were assets. They had some computers and they had some printers, which they were not using. Rather than disposing of and realizing a little bit of cash, whatever cash they got, they were just holding. It was just lying and it was occupying space. So this was another key challenge we noted in businesses. The third one, which is very, very powerful, is lies and more. What do I really mean by lies and more? And this is being that victim you know and here's here's an example in one uh, particular business i go to this particular business and i tell them that uh, you know looking into their profit and loss and balance sheet uh, i just told them that look three years down the line the ceo and i told him that three years and i can see your profits are slipping your revenues have slipped why and he's saying, oh, you know, there were new entrants which came in. Uh, customer behavior has changed because they are very conscious about the price. It's a price sensitive business. 
and regulators have come in it's become very difficult to do business you know he kept on coming up with excuses and was hiding behind these excuses as i put it because the reality was that he was not accepting his own negligence his own weakness his not his own alertness to see exactly what he needed to do because immediately profit starts slipping and revenue starts slipping what do you really do you call upon and find out exactly what else can you do how can you really step up the game but if you keep on coming up with excuses and lies it's not going to help anybody and this is the reality sadly this is a uh, a real situation which we have noted another key problem leakage is now this is common leakage is in time utility we have noted that uh, and i'll give you again another example here in one particular company they had this head of sales who was always on his phone he was on whatsapp and you know he was always digressed every now and again talking to his wife and all that distracted every now and again that is one leakage the second leakage was in another company the communication level was uh not conducive it was not aligned properly and because of that lack of con- uh, communication there was this blockage and uh, you know what needed to be done in a day could take even 3 days or 4 days because of that lack of communication in another organization there was a leakage in systems as well so the information was not really clear and it was not uh, completely true and fair as i would put it because at the end of the day we have to rely on certain information but this information was sort of unreliable if you see where i'm coming from so those were the leakages in another company there was lack of oversight so strategy is formed fantastic strategy comes out but when it comes to oversight mechanisms that is when you know this law of diminishing intent kicks in which means that the energy level the euphoria which was there you know that ignition of uh, doing something having that fire with sort of dies down so this was another key problem now let's move to the next one which is lonely at the top l a t t means lonely at the top there was a service industry the ceo of this company who was also the owner of the company it was a private company and what happened is the ceo was heavily reliant on his coo his chief operating officer now here's the thing it's it's all right to rely on the chief operating officer but my point here my dear friends is that he was heavily reliant on this one particular person who was basically influencing all his decisions rather than looking into diversification why it's because he was completely lonely at the top he did not have anybody else to talk to he was completely left on his own he felt isolated and he needed that comfort and the only comfort he got was from the chief operating officer who had never run a business and yet influencing his decision which sort of you know dragged the company and he wasn't really empowered either he couldn't really look into multiple lens different perspectives for the growth of his company and finally indecisiveness again a retail company father and son now it was a no brainer you know the the project they wanted to go into we had gone through the risks we had gone through the scalability we had gone through everything yet they were indecisive they could not make that decision of whether to go for it or not now here's the thing is the bold and audacious who win and who succeed that doesn't mean that you don't look into your risk levels and you don't look into your um all the other components the critical components of any sort of project you go into but at the end of the day this is another key problem is the indecisiveness which you know missed opportunities it's it's basically missed opportunities at the end of the day now i want to now shift gears and talk to you about opportunity because right now i believe that this is the best time for you to scale up as they say that during crisis and uncertainty this is the best time where this is the time when you 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 know the most successful entrepreneurs emerge 
we have noted that during the financial crisis and you know i believe that this decade between 2020 and 2030 is going to be a game changer as well and we are going to see some highly different success stories altogether so for you this is a key opportunity for you to uh change certain aspects within your business the key opportunity again another opportunity is that it is predicted by the year 2024 or 2025 the population is going to be 8 billion and according to peter demandis and his partner uh his business partner they say that all the 8 billion are going to be on the internet so at the moment if we are at 4 or 4.2 billion or whatever it is the numbers at this particular point in time we are expecting another huge influx of those who are going to be part of this internet you know the it's it's going to be like there's going to be services all over the world for everybody what does that really mean that means new opportunities that means new growth the economy is uh, you know staged or it is preparing to grow as well with this new influx as well so that gives you another opportunity the third one which is very important is now it's more simplified if you look at the models out there it's more simplified models so you know you could step back into white space and just simplify everything this is the right time to appraise this is the time to simplify everything because if you've got a lot of stress you've got a lot of chokeholds bottlenecks in place then this is the right time to simplify things and deconstruct all the complexities that you have in your particular business this leads to having more time why more time with the pandemic many have lost their jobs and there is this uh uh huge influx of talent out there doesn't matter which part of the world but the talent is out there which means that you can heighten your leadership skills and you will be able to delegate some of your work and have more time in hand because you know it and i know it that the most expensive resource is our time and that is what we want and that is what this uh, opportunity is out there and finally all this is going to lead to having increased earnings because this is extremely important that you understand that these are the opportunities and i am drawing your mind and your uh, thinking to see what is out there because i know that many talk about the challenges in fact 80 80% keep on dwelling into all these challenges that why is this happening to me what am i going to do but it's the 20% who are looking for the solutions who are going to emerge as successful this is why i want you to shift your thinking and look at the different uh, elements of the opportunity ahead but now let's deep dive straight into the seven steps of you becoming world class my dear friends the first and foremost spod what do i mean by spod specific point of destination so let me give you an example because this is uh, you know something which uh, which will give you a better reflection so there was one particular uh, business they had over a thousand employees by the way quite a big business and what happened is that the ceo who was the owner he said vijay we are up here we want to go to this part how do we go from here to here that is all i'm interested in how do we go and i said it's very simple the answer is very simple just give me 10 minutes of your board time you know get your board uh up here if and i gave them a blank piece of paper and a pen and i said four things that i want you to write down the purpose of this organization why the uh, organization exists the second was the vision of the organization what is the long term vision the third is the values of the organization and the fourth is the spot specific point of destination which means you want to go from here to here define what this spot is tangible definition what is the earnings that you are looking at what are the revenues you are looking at how many more branches do you want to open what new machinery do you want to invest what is the net asset value that you expect what number of people you know the increase in the number of people so i said define everything specify everything so that we know exactly what spot is and you must have guessed it by now that i got 
completely different answers from all of them because they were fumbling. They did not have the answer. That in itself was the aha moment. Collective intentions at the top. You want to become world class? Start with clarity. Start with that spot. Start with the tip of the pyramid for you and your organization and see the impact it's going to make. It's completely game changing, my dear friends. Let's move to the second one. Three powerful questions. If you can take this and form this into a habit, it's going to be a complete game changer. The first question. What are three specific things I can do to maximize my time? What are three specific uh, things I can do to maximize my time? In other words, how can you maximize the utility of your time? This is very important because there are so many distractions. There are so many things. People don't delegate. So what are three specific things you can do to maximize your time? The second question, which is equally very important, is what are three goals, priorities, milestones, that I have achieved today. So in the evening, if you ask this question, what does that really mean? That means that you will have accomplished three priorities or three milestones. I propose you journal this, put it in a journal, have, have your pos a personal journal so you can write this down. So you have it with you and you can see the bite size growth trajectory for you uh, on whatever you do. This doesn't take long. But the third question, which is so powerful, and yet many miss out, is this question, what am I missing? And I'll give you an example. So there was one particular retreat we went to, and we were facilitating. And what happened is um, that uh, we came up with this strategy. It was like opening another branch in another country. And everything was planned. Everything came out. The blueprint came out. The strategy blueprint was there, snapshot was there, all the figures were there, all the forecasts, everything was uh, ready. And we had about half an hour and I told everybody, uh, get back to your seats. There were only about seven, eight of them. It was a, a family owned business again. And I said that here's what I would like you to do. Write down, think through what is missing. We got everything here. We've got, you know, all the risks, everything was uh, considered but I said now I want you to stretch your thinking and find out exactly what is missing we came up with three or four other aspects which were not thought through just by that one particular question so whatever you do ask that question what is missing what am I missing out and that is going to completely change how you do so the three questions the first one is how do I maximize my time what specific things can I do to maximize my time the second question which is very important is what are three specific priorities goals milestones which I have achieved today and the th third question is what is missing this my dear friends is a complete game changer for you and this is going to lead you to progression to excellence as we put it so this is where the impact is let's move to the third one which is align with technology what do i mean by align with technology right now capabilities have changed completely as you and i know i want you to look into technology differently what is it that you can do to capitalize and use more technology driven mechanisms so you have the oversight but your capabilities heighten because if you start working towards technology and by the way you know, I've seen companies having software where they use only 20% or 30%. It's like a white elephant in many organizations. They don't tap, uh, tap into the full utility and the full uh, capability of that particular technology. Because if they do that, then they will have a lot of time in their hands to do other things. The efficiency levels would increase. The effectiveness will increase. It's, it's there, but they don't use it. So how can you align with technology? Because once you do that, that's going to change everything for you. Another point on when we talk about align with technology is deeply understand the technology. Now, I'm not saying you need to know coding. Like uh, if you're a coder, that's fine. <laughs> that's a different thing. But what I'm saying is understand and have the depth insight of whatever the software that is applicable to you. 
because once you have a deeper grasp it's going to help you to grow so that's what you really need to look into let's move to the next question i mean the next step which is so powerful and that is diversity and outsource and inclusivity what do i really mean here's the thing have diversified viewpoints different perspective empower your team if you have a team but otherwise you could outsource and you know get more brains or get more people to look at what you really want to do so you'll get a different perspective have that diversified opinion if you are lonely at the top it's very important the next step is very important for you but here's the thing that i want you to look at it how you can really diversify and how you can get more thinking and here's the thing is in order to diversify you also need to ask some more questions as well so ask those incisive questions which is going to make an impact and when i'm talking about outsourcing you and i know that right now with the pandemic and what's been happening globally there is so much talent out there and you just need to outsource some of the key components in for your particular business because that is a cheaper option than hiring somebody full time in some instances but it's important to segment your business and find out what you can do to outsource let me move to the next one and this is linked to that diversification is have an accountability partner now look at any sporting event if you look at boxing if you look at football if you look at swimming or lawn tennis or any of these sports what happens they all have a coach somebody who's going to hold them accountable and research indicates as well that if you have an accountability partner it's going to increase your earnings it's going to re- i mean it's going to drop your costs it's going to help you to grow there's going to be a different level of discipline altogether and and you know we have noticed this as a uh, in one retainer package uh, uh, program which we have which i'll discuss later uh, the business transformation package which we have here's what we do is that we hold the department heads accountable for example when it came to the finance department we wanted to make sure that there were certain heat maps and dashboards in place and that meant that you know the head of department had to step up her game so this is what we were doing and the ceo the expectations were there the first quarter we expected x amount of revenues which were completely well thought through and they had to meet it so it just raised the bar it just raised the game for them and they became successful so this is what you really need to look into is to find out if you can get the right accountability partner to help you to talk to you to be with you to listen to you as well to find out exactly what your grievances are and you know help you in your challenges another key element everybody talks about innovation and we know that peter drucker said that business is made of two things which is marketing and innovation but here's the thing how do you innovate what do you really need, uh, do so depending on the size and complexity of your organization this is just a suggestion every 4 to 6 weeks because you know the world is changing at rapid lightning speed as we know so every 4 to 6 weeks you need to sit back spend an hour and find out exactly what you can do to step up your product how can you make it even better how can it be more connected with your customer or client even if you are a service business what can you do to package it better what are you really doing to tighten you know that that connectivity and the communication as well so look into how you can innovate and step up the game because that is going to be a game changer for you and finally positioning now what do i really mean by positioning it's about branding basically if you are looking at succession planning or if you are looking at your leadership pipeline or exit strategy whatever it is because we all want that governance aspect in place it's important to position your company and i always emphasize any business whether it's small medium or large organization have some governance structure not at all expensive don't don't think that you need to, uh, it to be expensive it's just that board level thinking mindset and making sure 
that you have the right components in place like you have the vision you have the purpose you have the values you have all that in place in whatever you're doing having the right frame and the structure that is going to build more trust you will be able to attract more investors and you will be able to do uh, business with more transparency and clarity and visibility as well so this is so important to make sure that you step up by positioning your business now here's something that we would like to offer you and this is just a free exploratory session we are going to give you a free navigational path we are going to listen to what your one or two uh, challenges are and we're going to help you through so you get some clarity in whatever you're doing you're going to go away with a lot of value just by attending this and I'm going to share with you what sort of services we have after this particular slide so you have a little bit of an insight of what we really do so you're most welcome to get in touch or click the button below there's a bar and fill the form it's a very short form if you can fill this few details and by the way your information completely confidential and we comply with GDPR regulations and you know if we don't do any business or anything we sort of destroy all information we don't have anything in our database so rest assured your information is safe with us but here's the thing take advantage of this because it's completely going to change the way you do business why are we doing this because we are curious to learn what your challenges are and we just want to help we want to leave some good footprints as well behind as well so those are the reasons and those are our intentions if you take up our services well and good otherwise you know just take up this particular free exploratory session but here's what i would like to share with you some services we have we've got three world-class coaching packages and I'll share with you what these three world-class coaching packages are. The second service we have is basically a 360 degree business health check. Now the seven steps which I've shared with you that's just a tip of the iceberg. We go end to end we look into your marketing aspect we look into your all the efficiency levels we look into the leverage drivers and all the aspects and find out how we can identify certain signals for your business growth. So this is a business health check. We appraise the complete business for you. And the third service is a seven expertise in one. And this is a game changer, which is one of our most popular services. And I'll talk to you more about how that really works. So the first one is three world-class coaching packages. By the way, I'm just taking five minutes more and we'll wrap this up. So the first one is executive coaching package. What do I mean by executive coaching package? If you are a director, executive, CFO or a COO, or a manager and you want to scale up or you want to open your own or you want some clarity moving forward this particular coaching session it's seven sessions but it's going to make a profound impact to what you do confidence levels influence leadership we walk through everything whatever your chokeholds are whatever your challenges are we try helping you and we will guide you as to what you really need to do and giving you the tools as well the second one is entrepreneurs coaching package which is again one-on-one -on -one, where we have entrepreneurs coming to us and these are family business owners these are even entrepreneurs single solopreneurs as well who want direction who want some sort of navigation path but at the same time they want to see what else they require what are the resources or how can they better utilize the resources they have so this is another powerful again seven sessions all our coaching sessions are seven sessions that we have and the third one is business excellence coaching package and in this particular coaching uh, package you can call all your team like for example the top team whoever you have you can call all of them and we'll have group coaching it will be again seven sessions but we'll walk through all the key elements of growth of scalability of progressing to excellence and this is going to be completely game changing seven sessions which are extremely powerful but it's going to shift your business these are tailor-made exclusively for your particular business so you can take advantage of this the second service which we have is the business health check we call it the progression to excellence seven in one business transformation package as such so this is end to end this is going through your governance strategy sales and marketing we're going to leadership we're going to self-mastery as well and finance as well 
and we walk through each and every element to make sure that you've got a complete clear business roadmap, you've got your spot in place, you've got your succession planning, exit strategy, innovation. We also conduct threat analysis to find out exactly what, where your business will be a year from now, two years from now. We look into the brand value, the culture, and many other aspects as well. This is just a small snapshot I want to share with you. So this is the second service. And the third one, which is extremely powerful, is a retainer service. And this is the business growth retainer package where you get seven expertise in one. So it's like, you know, you don't need to spend an arm and leg in getting individual services. It's like this is a whole a convergence package, as we put it. It's like you get a business coach, you get a business advisor, you get a virtual CFO, uh, chief financial officer. Even if you have a CFO, that doesn't matter because we will add and contribute and complement to what your CFO already has. You get a non-executive director, accountability partner, management consultant, and mentor all in one. So you're getting the complete whole wrap up all in one because that is where people have seen and many businesses have seen this to be such a powerful working model for their business. It's unbelievable. It's just not about accountability partner alone, but all the other core components of growth and making sure that, you know, their policies are in place, systems are in place, leakages are sort of, you know, uh, we, we identify the leakages and overcome those leakages and many other aspects, return on executive time. So there are many aspects we look into departmental excellence as well. So all that is covered when you take up the retainer package. Now, what are some of your benefits? Not only will you get a clear progression path, but your confidence influence, which is going to impact the positioning of your business, because this is extremely powerful. It's not about you alone, but also your team becoming best in class. You'll also be able to maximize return on time, not only your time, but return on executive time, because time is very critical and the capabilities and leveraging and finding out your you know, highest leverage point, which is obviously your pipeline, your people pipeline, we maximize the time. Looking into increased earnings, cost reduction, as well as high liquidity to make sure that your business is liquid and having the accountability partner and a coach, like I mentioned, so you are not lonely at the top and, you know, you got somebody whom you can talk to, but not only you, also your team members can talk to somebody so if there's anything you know we even act like bridge makers when there is disparity or when the CEO doesn't like one of the team members then we sort of open up dialogue and find out exactly where they are and how to really build a synergy so we do all that as well I just want to share uh, some of the doubts that have come out and many have said that look isn't this theory I mean is this really practical but I can tell you one thing, these are practical efficiencies. So you are going to get the practical efficiencies in place and others are worried about cost, that how much will this really cost? But I can assure you again, that if you look at what you're paying your executives or whatever you're paying, this is a fraction of the cost, but tenfold value altogether. This is a value game at the end of the day. So it's not a cost at all, it's an investment. You then, uh, some have said, how are we going to be able to meet up with the change basically? But this is not about change. This is about alignment. This is about centering. This is about diversification and having that empowerment within. So it's not a change. This is completely different because it's something which is supporting everybody, holding everybody's hands and moving and making sure we all grow together. Uh, some say that wouldn't this really be a barrier like taking our service? Wouldn't that be red tape? But basically, it's a reality check. When we look into anything, it's going to be like a reality check. It's not red tape at all, but it's going to give you an added layer of uh, comfort to make sure that everything is in the right direction. Presence. Some people say, what about the presence element of it? And by the way, if you take the retain uh, service, then we also offer a free retreat anywhere in the world. <laughs> Doesn't matter where you are, but two days immersion retreat where we go out, break out and you know, work with you on many other aspects, completely uh, whitewash everything and find out exactly how we can realign the strategy and everything. So 
that is absolutely part of the whole package itself and we operate virtual and remote and it is working perfect in fact the whole world is now uh, you can see many changes like whether it's mastercard or whether it's twitter or graphic companies many companies who have now decided that they want to work virtually forever so there are many organizations who are doing all that multiplayers now say you're a travel tour and travel company in singapore you will have the exclusivity because we cannot work within that particular territory with another tour and travel if you see where i'm coming from so we will exclusively work for your particular business so that is the exclusivity you get again get in touch with soin shah the details are here soin is my business partner and uh, or fill this particular um, you know just click the button below and fill this short form and we'll reach out to you we'll schedule a call it's going to be about 60 minutes but it's going to be the best time you have ever spent i look forward to seeing you i look forward to adding value to whatever you are doing and um i hope that we can work together uh in the future as well so thank you very much for your time i look forward to seeing you then cheers then bye